The main reason I try to visit Japan every year is because most of my family is there. It's where I was born, but my parents raised my sister and I in Hawaii. I was six years old, my sister was three. We were suddenly far removed from the only place I knew to a foreign world where my new classmates only spoke English. I remember my first day of school in America. Everyone put their hand on their chest, stared up towards the corner at a flag, and recited the Pledge of Allegiance. Being Japanese, I instinctively followed the crowd, putting my hand over my own chest and mouthing random words in fear of standing out. This year, Jack and I went back for three weeks. My parents have been living back in Japan for almost nine years now. There's whiskey inside my veins. I'm feeling heavy and I can't explain how I feel for you. You got me dizzy and feeling blue. This day was Jack's birthday. My uncle took us out on his boat all day. to Japan after being in Hawaii for the first two years. I was now in third grade. We had this big party and all my parents' friends came over. They all hugged me saying, look at how big you got. Do you remember me? I don't have that many family and friends in Hawaii. People that knew me since I was in diapers. Even as a child, I felt horrible. These strangers seemed to know everything about me and flooded me with love, but I just didn't recognize them one bit. That night, I studied each of their faces, repeating their names over and over in my head. I didn't want to forget them again, and I never did after that. My parents, excited to have everyone back, decided to surprise Jack for his birthday and splurge on this place for all of us to stay. It was nice. We actually used to live right across the bridge, in an apartment in front of the ocean. <laughs> if you were to ask me five years ago if I would ever move to Japan, my answer would be no. I'm terrified of the work culture, the sexism, and honestly believe it'll be difficult for me to be fully accepted since I'm quite Americanized. Something in my heart changed recently. My cousins are starting to have kids, and the one that's two years older than me is expecting a son in November. I'm brought back to the time we would visit. Every two years, sometimes three years, we'd sit at the dinner table, 
my parents catching up with my grandparents as my sister and I sit across my cousin in silence. Two years is long when you're going from six to eight years old. My sister and I would whisper to each other in English, our Japanese rusty as ever. But after dinner, we'd go upstairs and play like kids do. Somehow we'd be able to communicate again, loosen up, and remember that we're family. By the end of the trip, he'd come with us to the port where there's a boat that takes us to the airport. We'd all sit in silence again. As the boat leaves, we're waving out the window, our eyes blurry, filled with tears. It hurt. Goodbyes are hard. And I wondered, why can't we stay here forever? Jack and I took a little break off of trying for kids this year. I reflected on why I wanted children, if I even wanted children, what life would look like without one. Probably career focused, traveling, making money just to spend it, and we could die happy knowing that nobody is financially dependent on us. It sounded really intriguing, honestly. And I also imagined our life with kids. Our brain chemistry actually changing as we become parents. Seeing the world for the first time again through our kids' eyes. Growing myself as a mother and watching Jack fall into the role of a father. That's a human experience I want to have in this lifetime. Naturally, thinking about having kids in the near future made me reflect on where I want to raise them. Hawaii is obviously a dream. It's comfortable living here as an Asian American. It's where I was raised. It's what I know. The weather is great and there's a sense of community. But our kids be far from family. Grandparents that spoiled them. Second cousins to play and grow beside. Aunties and uncles that love you unconditionally. They do say it takes a village. I reflect on how we're the youngest we'll ever be today, which means my parents are also the youngest they'll ever be. I want more time with them, and I want to gift them the experience of being grandparents for a little longer. I wanted to make another casual Japan vlog, but also wanted to share my thoughts, things I've been reflecting on lately. Well, to finish off, I don't have anything sorted at the moment. I'm still in Hawaii, not trying for kids just yet. We still have to figure out our career, but I'm also a few months away from being 30. And I'm editing this the day after the election. So yeah, I have a lot to think about. But thanks for listening to me ramble. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.